This is a beautiful summertime recipe, packed full of flavour. The inspiration is kind of the English garden. Everything about this dish is quintessentially British. It's got an amazing flavour, peppery rocket, radishes, mustard and horseradish, all with a beautifully cooked, perfect steak. First thing we need to do, get our bread. We're going to make this into lovely big crostinis to sit the salad and the beef on. So just cut through about a centimetre and a half and cut some nice slices. Prop this bread on a tray and we're just going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. That'll help it get nice and crispy. And then to give it an extra hit of flavour, just take a garlic clove and we're just going to bash it, unwrap it and then just cut it in half. And then that cut side there, we're just going to rub that on the bread. Just kind of permeates, gives it a little bit of flavour. That can go in the oven. I've got it at 180 degrees and that will just toast for about five or six minutes. I'm going to make the salad now for this and first we'll start off with the dressing. So I've got a few key ingredients for this. English mustard, horseradish. Together, they're going to work beautifully. A couple of teaspoons of horseradish straight in there and then English mustard. Now. It's pretty fiery, this stuff, but it kind of works really well. And then we're going to add some red wine vinegar because we want to make a dressing out of this. And then some olive oil. So two thirds more of olive oil than vinegar. And we're just going to whisk this together. A little pinch of sea salt in there. Give it a season up and some black pepper. And that is going to create a wonderful dressing that is really going to be packed full of flavour. So I'll put that to one side. Now to go with this, we've got some nice radishes. Okay, nice peppery flavour. It's all going to work really well. So just cut the top off and I want to slice these nice and thin. Okay, so take your time, use a good sharp knife and just run your knife right the way through the radish and you want them look nice and thin like that. As thin as you can manage. As soon as they're sliced up, just drop them into the dressing. And then I've got some beautiful purple cress here. We'll just sprinkle that in. And then some traditional mustard cress as well. We'll add that. And then we've got some lovely peppery water cress. This goes so well with beef. So just break it up a little bit. I'm just gonna chop it maybe twice, three times. That's it, straight in the bowl then. And then we've got some rocket. That again is a nice kind of mustardy flavor. Let's pop that in as well. Let's give this a season. A little bit of sea salt in there, a little bit of black pepper, and that's it. Don't touch the salad now. Don't be tempted to mix it. Just leave the radishes sat at the bottom in the dressing. We'll toss this around at the very last minute so none of these leaves wilt. Swap boards. Just move that over there. Right. I'm going to turn our attention to the steak. Now, I want to get a little bit of stuff done first. So, clove of garlic, and then run your knife through that garlic, and then just chop it. Just put that to one side. And then I've got some rosemary and thyme are like beef's best friend on these ones. Loads of great flavour. So just tear some of it off. Put the rosemary and thyme both together and just run your knife through them. And then just push it into the garlic. And then we're just going to mix that together. So get your fingers in and kind of rub that garlic. Bruise it up a bit and then just scatter it all over the board. Grab some sea salt and we're going to season that board up as well and then get some black pepper. So we've got some steak here. This is what they call a flat iron steak. It's got some great flavour, it's got sinew, it's got marbling, it's got everything. Just pop it straight down onto those herbs there. And the same with that one. We'll turn our pan on, get it really, really nice and hot. Turn the steaks over, all that flavour has stuck to it. Get a little bit of olive oil and then just oil the steak, both sides. My pan is smoking hot now, which is important when you are frying steaks. So bring the steak to the pan, bring the whole board, and then just drop it straight in. Okay, that sizzle, that noise, you want to hear when you're cooking steaks. I'm going to cook these steaks for about two to three minutes on this side, flip them over and give them a minute on the other side, and then I'm going to let them rest for about five or six minutes so all the juices get beautifully tender and it'll be ready to carve up. A pair of tongs and just Flip the steak over, should be lovely and seared on one side. And I'm going to cook that for another minute now. Last 30 seconds of cooking, I'm just going to take a little slice of butter, just going to add that in. It's going to add incredible richness to this beef. 
It's going to go melt and go really silky, and give it a lovely richness. And the butter will coat the steak, give it a last turn. Makes all the difference that. So we'll take the first steak out and we'll let that rest. And then this one, the same. These steaks will sit here and rest for five minutes. And what happens is, having been in a really hot pan, the meat has just gone like this because it's really hot in there. And now the meat is just relaxing and it's just going, oh. And then in five minutes, the muscle in there will have just relaxed and it'll be super tender beef. The bread has just toasted now and you can see it's just kind of taken that little bit of colour and it's nice and crispy so they can go straight onto the plates. For this bit, it's up to you which way around you do it, but for me I like to put the steak on first because then all the juices soak into the bread and then top with this beautiful peppery salad. So now is, comes a time where you can just stir this together. Get a little bit of that dressing all the way over. Now, steak time. So it is rested and it is beautiful and tender. And all we're going to do is just carve it into lovely slices. And look how beautiful and pink that steak is. For me, that's absolutely perfect. If you like it more cooked, that's entirely up to you. Just carve it into nice, thin slices. It's beautifully tender. My knife is just gliding through this. And then just take the beef and just lay it straight onto the bread. A couple of slices on each piece will be just fine. And then get your salad and then just try and get a lovely spoonful. Make sure you get a little bit of everything. Just sit it right on top of the beef there. Everything in this salad is going to play its part. It's going to marry together beautifully. There's crunch in here, there's pepperiness, there's almost a little bit of creaminess coming from the horseradish. Anyone who tucks into this is gonna absolutely love it. It is packed full of flavors, textures, it's exciting food. This is the kind of food you wanna come out of your kitchen. Food that's mouth-watering, tasty, interesting, and quite easy to do, to be honest. So just sit it all on top there. And then I'm gonna take a few more pieces of the cress, the little purple mustard cress, and then we're just gonna scatter that on there, just for some color. You imagine taking this plate full of food out of your kitchen into your dining room for your family or friends, they are gonna love it.